Welcome to Narisha Technologies, this is Mahesh. Uh, in my previous video, we discussed about just we listed what are the uh, features of Java 9 we listed. And uh, in this video, we will discuss one of the Java 9 feature that is REPL. So, of course, modularity we will discuss in the coming videos. Now, in this video, we will discuss about this REPL we will discuss. So, in the first video, just like in a brief uh, introduction about what exactly REPL is, uh, we call as a interactive programming, I mean without creating any Java classes or without creating any main method. Uh, you can write some exe you can write some statements and you can you can get a prompt response you can get and you can see the response whether the statement is valid or not that kind of uh, that kind of support you'll get with this REPL REPL that REPL support you are going to get in Java by using a tool called JShell okay so once if you install this Java 9 version once if you install in your system and you'll find uh, a tool you'll find in the JDK folder if you explore the JDK folder uh, in the program files where you install the Java version Java JDK 9. Uh, if you open this a bin folder, you can find a tool you can find here called uh, JShell is on tool you can find in here. So, you can find a tool called JShell is a tool you can find here. If you want, you can see the properties, you can see uh, JShell is a tool. Okay. So, in the JDK platform, you are going to get this JDK tool you are going to get. If you want, you can go to bin folder and you can see the J, J shell tool you can find in the JDK uh, bin folder, 9 bin folder. So, simply if you want to, uh, you know, start the J, uh, J shell if you want to start, uh, same like how we will execute the other commands. Just go to your command prompt and check the cross check once what is a Java version. I am specifying Java version I am checking in my system. It is Java 9 version. If it is Java 9, uh, simply you can type shell j shell so you are going to get a welcome message you will get so welcome to j shell version 9 for introduction type just specify slash help for introduction so let us take uh, initially we are the beginners we do not know anything about this j shell right simply what we will do is nothing but we will specify slash help you can find some list of commands you can find here let us uh, let us take uh, the first thing is nothing but list it will show you all the list of source code you have typed and if you want to edit any particular type you can edit you can use the edit drop save open vars types methods imports exit and all these things so we'll try to use some of uh, all these commands we'll try to use uh, in this videos in this video let's take first like uh, in my last video how i told if you want to execute any statement that you can write the statement you can write i want to print a message i want to print like system.out.println directly I am writing a message hello world, you will get the output as hello world. So, no, there is no class declaration, there is no main method and no need to explain, I mean uh, especially let us take my case, uh, if I am taking introduction class first day code java class, I will write this code but with to write to explain this one, I had to explain about what is class, what is public, static, void, main and all, but now it is not required to explain all those stupid stuff like public, static, void, main, what is stringer and all. Directly you can open the J shell tool and you can start writing the code in the J shell tool. Let us take, uh, you know, we will start, we will we'll cre we'll see how to create some variables, how to create some methods, how to create a class, how to create objects and how to use imports and all these things we will see in this video. Let us take initially, I am declaring one variable I am declaring, int x is equals to I specified, for example, 30 I specified. So, you are going to get a message x is equals to 30, a one variable is created called x, the value is in this x variable is nothing but 30. For example, I specify directly I am specifying here 30 plus 30 plus for example 5 I specified let us see what is the output you are going to get now. So, you got the symbol as dollar 3 is a symbol we got. So, dollar 3 is a symbol what is this dollar 3 and one value is stored called 35. Let us see what is this dollar is nothing but there is a there is a command in J shell call if you specify slash list you are going to get the code list you are going to get what you written. I am calling slash list. Let us see here the first statement written in your code written system dot out dot println. One identifier is given for this statement called 1. Next after the second statement we specified 30 plus 5. The one identifier is given for this statement sorry second statement we specified x. We get one variable created. One identifier is given for this one called 2. And the third statement written 30 plus 5 and that value is stored in this identifier called 3. And wherever if you want to get a value for example, simply you can specify dollar 3 you can specify let us see what is the value you are going to get, we got 35 we got. So, we are specifying an identifier 
when you specify identifier we got the value we got. So, when you specify this statement called 30 plus y internally uh, that value is stored into an identifier called dollar 3 is identifier. So, whenever you want to get that value simply you can call dollar 3 you can represent. Okay, we are able to create the math variables we are able to create, we are able to create the variables as well as if you want you can see some methods also you can create. Let us say for example, I am creating one method I am creating void for example, display is the method I created void display. I can write some message like system dot out dot println, system dot out dot println. I am creating one message I am creating here called welcome to Narish IT is a message I am writing, welcome to Narish IT. Let us see once if we click enter a created method is created called what displays on method I is created. And if you want to call this method same like how you call, but here you don't, don't require to create an object and do not require to create a reference and all directly you can call this method call. So, you got the output you got called welcome to Narish IT. By using this J shell tool you cannot create the projects you cannot create, but the main intention of using this J shell tool is nothing but a, a prompt response if you want to get like you know. Uh, you want to execute some on logic you want to execute you want to see what is the output of that particular logic or you know quickly you want to test one service you want to test whether that particular any URL is hitting uh, calling or not. Like quickly if you want to test any service if you want to test quickly uh, any code if you want to test quickly you can use this JSHL tool you can use uh, without creating the main methods without creating any class and all uh, quickly you can write the code and you can test that code you can test quickly. Okay, we are able to create the method we are able to create as well as we are able to create the variables also we are able to create. Let us see here once again write this list specify forwards list if you specify here. So, you got some list of code what you return here. Say the fifth statement the identifier is given for this method call for this method is nothing but phi is identifier is given for this method. Let us say in future uh, or you want you want to modify this method you want to modify let us say I want to print a message welcome to Naresh IT message I want to print I want to modify it. Uh, simply what you will do is nothing but you can specify edit statement you can specify edit space uh, simply you can specify the identifier for this particular statement what is identifier given phi simply write edit phi. So, what are the code written we got that code we got in a separate editor we got a text file we got separate editor uh, simply what you will do is nothing but you know it is a uh, it is a swing it is a swing package editor it is uh, if you are aware of the AWT and swing code you know you can you, can, you do not know you know how to create these kind of window based applications. So, you got an editor we got simply if you want you can modify this one here let us take a modifying of course, uh, because of some issue it is displaying the text with very small size. So, we got the output we, got, we are we are modifying here system dot out dot print of welcome to Naresh IT is a text we configured simply accept this accept. See here we got the output we got here see we got a message we got modified method called display. Now, if you call this method if you call see once again I am writing here once again I am calling this display method I am calling here. If you call the display method we got a message we got called welcome to Naresh IT is a message we got. So, meaning we can create the variables you can create as well as we can create the methods you can create. Now, we will see here uh, is it possible to take uh, input import from the user like uh, in Java we are having we are we are going to use a class called scanner class uh, by using the scanner class we can we can take some input from the user dynamic input from the user. Let us see here is it possible to uh, take the input from the user what I am doing is nothing but I am creating one string I am creating one string let us take I am declaring one variable today is equals to I am writing a new scanner of system dot in dot I am calling next line method I am calling. I am taking the input I am taking from the user I am taking a input from the by using scanner I am taking a user input I am taking. In case of your Java program we know that uh, we are using a class called scanner class we are using. So, if you want to use a scanner class uh, we had to write one import statement we had to write import java dot title dot scanner statement we will write to import that particular class. But see here I am not writing any import statement I am not writing here uh, click on enter let us see let us see whether it is waiting uh, it is it is waiting for your input it is waiting here. So, for example, I am specifying today is equals to Saturday is specified I given one input I given here called Saturday I given an input I given. So, that whatever the value we given that value is going to store into what into today the value is going to store click on enter see today is what Saturday. If you want to get that one simply write system dot out dot println if you want to get the confirmation whether value is stored or not I am writing system dot out dot println of I am calling today I am calling let us see got the output of Saturday. We have not written any import statement we have not written for the imports is it possible to uh, meaning no need to write not even a single import statement all the class is going to import 
let us make a small experiment for this. Uh, I want to use one more class from a different package. Uh, let us take for example, in the SQL class, uh, there is a class called statement or connection is on class is there. Uh, just for example, I am taking a connection class I am taking here, connection con is equals to I am using a class called driver manager dot get connection. So, we will configure some code we will configure here. Just my, my intention is just to understand we are using a class called connection from a SQL package. Is it, it is importing that statement or not? That particular connection class is importing or not? Let us see here. Click on enter. So, you got the error we got here cannot find the symbol, cannot find the symbol what exactly this connection is. Meaning it is not importing a class from SQL package, it is not importing and it cannot find the symbol driver manager. See here, uh, when you specify in the J shell, uh, there is a command called help, right? When you, when you, wherever you acquired a help, just specify forward help, forward slash and help. Uh, you can find the help you can find here. So, now we discuss about this, uh, we discuss about this list statements we seen, we seen about this edit statement we seen, we will see about this save, drop, open and all and you can find, a, you can find a statement command called slash import season command is there. See here, slash imports, the list of imported items you can find by calling this slash imports. So, simply what we will do is nothing but just write a statement called slash imports, slash imports. You can see here, by default, J shell will import these classes from, class from these packages like IO, math, net, util. Okay, it is going to import from these packages, it is going to import. If you are using any class outside these packages, IO, net and outside these packages, explicitly we had to import that particular class, you had to import explicitly. Like how we will write the import statement in your Java code, write import. We are using some classes from the SQL package, I specified java.sql.star. Now, if you, if you write the statement connection con is equals to driver manager dot get connection. Of course, uh, earlier, th earlier though we got the exception call, earlier we got the exception call cannot find the symbol, but now we got the SQL exception because we are not specified any uh, name of the driver we are not specified, that is why we got the exception. But the thing what you have to understand is nothing but by default, the J shell is going to import the class from these packages. If you are using any classes outside these packages, explicitly we had to write what? We had to import the classes, we had to import by using this statement, we had to import the classes. So, we are able to create the methods, we are able to create the variables and we are able to perform the import operations we are able to perform and by default J shell is providing some support for imports. So, we will see here, is it possible to create a class and is it possible to create an object for that class? Let us see, quickly we will see here. I am creating a class I am creating, class test is a class I am creating, test, I am creating a method I am creating, public void show is the method I am calling, writing system dot out dot println from a show method. I see here, we got a message created class called what? Test. So, even we are able to by using this J shell, we can execute, we can create the primitive type uh, data types you can create, variables you can create, methods you can create, we are able to create class also we are able to create. Let me try uh, to create an object for this class and call this show method. I'm creating the object for this class test to t is equals to new test and let us call this method and see here, we got the reference we got. So, we are able to create the object for this one, we are able to create the object for this one, we are able to create let us call t dot show method, yes, we are able to call the method also we are able to call from show method. So, like whatever you are performing the operations like with normal Java classes without creating any classes, I mean without writing any main method and all, we can write the statements and you can execute those statements, you can execute by using the J shell. Now, if you want to write the list of, if you want to explore the list of uh, statements what you written, simply write slash list, you can find all the statements what you have written. In the 13th statement we create a class we created, in the 14th statement we create object for this, in the 15th statement we call what? T dot show method we call. Let us say you written some lot of statements you executed, but the further reference you want to save this one. You want to save this for further reference, simply what you can do is nothing but you can write slash slave save and specify what is a file name you want to save and specifying a file name called for example, nit dot, you can give the extension as dot txt extension you can save or any uh, text format extension you can specify or you want to save as a J shell extension simply specify dot JSH, it is going to save it, it is going to save the file with extension dot JSH, but where it is going to save the dot JSH file, that is a question where it is going to save this dot uh, dot JSH file, where it is going to store is nothing but when you specify any uh, you know when you are when you are when you started this J shell tool, 
when you started this JShell tool, I mean the directory called C drive, users folder, Mahesh folder, we started this JShell. So, where the dot js, JSH file also create is nothing but in the same, in the same folder it is going to create. Now, if you want to save into your user defined folder anywhere, if you want to save, you know, you can specify that folder path, you can specify while you are saving this one. Or by default, just if you specify save slash file name from which folder you started this JShell in that particular folder, it is going to save that file. Let me explore. Uh, I started from C drive users folder, I started this JShell. Uh, so, let me check in this folder C drive Mahesh folder that is a file is saved or not dot JSH uh, C, C drive users folder Mahesh folder the file is created called NIT dot JSH is a file is created. Let I am trying to open this in the edit plus yeah the file is this is what the file is saved we saved it dot JSH, JSH extension we saved this file we saved. You know for later oh, you want to open this uh, JShell file you wants to open. Uh, simply what you will do is nothing but you can write if you want to open that existing JShell file if you want to open simply you can write a statement slash open your file name nit dot jsh. See here what are the statements we written? So, you got all the statements we got here simply if you want you can write slash list this is what the JShell file what we created. So, the conclusion of JShell is nothing but you cannot create a project you cannot create by using JShell uh, just the intention of JSL is nothing but interactive programming and quickly uh, you want to see you want to write some code you want to see the output of that particular code you want to see the output you can go for a JSL tool. Just for more uh, information just, just type slash help help it is not too difficult to understand you can find the complete uh, complete commands and you can find you can find the information about this one also you can find the information. Simply once your task is uh, what is this vars and methods is nothing but you know you want to see what are the variables you created right slash where's it is going to show you all the list of variables what you created. You want to see the list of methods you want to see let us simply write slash methods it is going to show you all the list of methods what you created in that particular file. Now, once your task is done you want to exit from the J shell simply write slash exit it is going to show you a nice message like exit from the J shell let us see here goodbye and we are exit from the J shell tool we exit we got into our actual path we got okay. So, I hope uh, you understand what exactly J shell and what is interactive programming without writing any main method without creating any class and all quickly you can write the code and you can test the code by using J shell okay. So, thank you.